Jess, how, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm okay. It's been a it's been a long road of self resilience. Um, obviously, I think I could have made a safe bet with this HOH or taken a big shot at someone who was a very good player. So that's the road I chose, and then it was a short lived road for me. Well, what do you think went wrong here uh, overall? Um, well, I think I had to hedge my bets. I definitely could have put up someone that would have gone home. I knew Moose and Herman were staying no matter what. It was very clear that uh, Summer, Betty, Tanisha, Moose, and Herman were rolling together. I think they also potentially had Josh and Helena with them. And it was about trying to have some of the lost puppies grouped together in some sort of a dog pack. And I just knew I was always expendable to the siblings. And I just felt like I'm not going to have someone go home that maybe would work with me or wouldn't be a, a check mark on the power player list. So that was my hard decision. And it made everyone have to choose between two people who are clearly working together. How, how frustrating was it that you came so close to winning that uh, that last competition? Oh, um, honestly, I. It is what it is, you know. Uh, I I didn't sort fast enough. Jace is a quick little thing. Um, I knew my life was on the line. No one wanted to show any cards to offer me a chain in that link, and I respect that. I think anyone, if they were valuing me or saw me as an asset, knew that the blowback from the Tanisha vote out was uh, probably bigger than anyone had anticipated. So it'd be foolish for anyone to uh, have given me a line of safety. And so it was in my hands, and I didn't quite pull it off. So. I hate ping pong balls. I also hate baseballs after that uh, shopper showcase. So mm. what would you say was the most challenging part of the game? Most challenging was being nominated day two and being nominated so directly. Uh, I've never in the history of Big Brother Canada seen anyone, you know, really call someone a threat to their game and call someone a power player. It's usually like, hey, uh, we don't like the same things. I don't know you yet. Sit up there. So to have a highlighter on my name, I had to save myself and you know, it's just the persona non grata that you have to walk around with once you've been on the block. People don't want to align with you or talk to you much after you're, you've got the block on, on you. Mm. Well, obviously, you're a big fan of the show. Uh, did you anticipate how difficult it would be before you played? I thought I would be able to be more socially accepted. So, again, I think the blockitis uh, hurt mm. me a little bit. Um, I know that I was a bit of an Eeyore near the end, searching for my tail in rooms. And... I just felt like I just had a lot of catch up to always do socially, which was another reason for my decision in my HOH. I just couldn't keep trying to linger on. I was trying to, you know, even the playing field a little more. And yeah, I think people always underestimate how hard it is in there. When you're able to sit on the sidelines, see how everything goes, sleep in your own bed, eat whatever food you want, have all the, you know, resources at your fingertips when you're removed from all of that, it is it is difficult to be uh, perfect at playing. Mm. So you worked very closely with Kevin this week. Uh, he did not save you in the safety chain. Were you surprised by that? No, I think um, he definitely is a smart person. I'm sure he has a lot of fingers and a lot of pies. I don't think I was his only bet. Um, and I think, again, the blowback from Tanisha leaving and him trying to secure himself further in this game and work his way in, it was mandatory to not be linked to me, literally in the chain of safety or in any sort of strategic facet. So... Do you feel betrayed by him in any way? Oh, no. I mean, him and Marty could have chosen me. But uh, I, again, I think they're hedging their bets. And it's a game. Uh, it is it is what it is. It would be nice to still be there and trying. Um, can't say I'm not disappointed that I'm not still fighting for it all. Uh, but yeah, no regrets. If you, if you had stayed in the game, uh, what would the conversation have been like with, uh, with Kevin uh, and, and, and maybe Marty about like, uh, like, why, like, why didn't, why didn't you pick me? Like, what would you have, uh, like, what would it have changed your plans moving forward in any way? Or is it really just like, no sweat? I think I still would have had to have the forgiveness, uh, approach. I didn't have many allies in that game. And especially after. Uh, eliminating Tanisha, who clearly was working with people, and that was proven by nominating her and also when she left, uh, that I had to still hedge my bets on those two. And uh, maybe, you know, things are always shifting and they're fluid in there. It might have changed depending on who got power. But, yeah, I think I still would have had to hedge my bets with them. Who do you think is playing the best game right now? I think Josh is playing really well. I think he's well-positioned in the middle of the house and has 
any path moving forward that he wants. So it's about him picking the right one. Um, I think Summer is playing very well and very well connected with everyone. I think she'd vote out her own mother, Donna Maria, if she was in there. I know she really, really wants to win. Um, and I can see that in her. She's very tenacious. So those are two people that I think are, are playing very well and are well positioned. Uh, who would you have tried to go to the final two with if you had stayed in the game? Um, at this, honestly, there was a point in time where I said, am I really going to try to sell the fact that I'm the goat and I'm okay with 20 grand? Because I don't think I ever would have had the connections to get the votes in the end, unless I had really won out more competitions and people were like, just fought all the way from the block to the final. Uh, so I know that Marty wasn't very well liked at that point. He was, he was a bit on an Island. And I think maybe I could have socially connected with more people. Um, so yeah, I would probably say Marty at this point, but only because he has a very open mouth and I know a lot of people were, uh, you know, trying to target him out of there. So that would probably be my best bet for hundred grand, but I was kind of fighting for second place. If, if even that at this point, what did you think of the safety chain twist overall? I uh, have a bone to pick with Big Brother because <laughs> HOHs sit out on HOH comps. Mm. I feel like I should have gotten to at least roll a bowling ball. Um, but no, you know I'm a super fan. I love twists. I always think it's great uh, the way they come up with it. I think making people show their cards in front of everyone, although it seems pretty obvious to me where people were aligned that it was still good to see. And that's, again, why I didn't hold Kevin or Marty um, I didn't hold any grudges to them for picking the way they did. When you have to show your cards in front of people, um, you have to do that strategically. So yeah. great twist. So what, what did you think about the experience overall? Again, a big fan of the show. You've now, you did it. Uh, you had some trouble here or there. Uh, what, what did what did, what was the experience like overall? Um, overall, I had to pinch myself many times being in there. I kept being like, holy shit, am I here? Sorry for the S bomb, but seriously, put a little bleep in there for me. But yeah, I just was very mind blown being in there. It was so much fun to see everything behind the scenes, to really experience it. I've always held uh, a lot of, you know, uh, admiration for anyone who goes through this challenge. I do wish I could have been more of fun, funky Jess, uh, who does bring people laughs and giggles and and less of a, you know, sad cloud wandering around the house feeling isolated. But um, the cards were dealt that way, and I feel like I was as resilient as possible and played really hard. I have a lot of check marks, you know, a veto, surviving the block twice, HOH. A lot of people might play the whole game and not have any of those check marks. If you had one thing that you could change about, uh, like, how you played, what would it be? Uh, just to be less in my feels and be more fun and more open and just try to, like, connect better socially. I feel like I played my sad violin a little too much in the house. Um, but otherwise, you know, I tried really hard and I think being again on the block makes people very weary of you for a lot of different reasons. So as a fan of the show, I get that. And that isn't an excuse card. It's just how the cards would go. All right. Well, uh, thank you for, for talking with me here, Jess. Thank you, robot.